Greetings, minions. Pibbling Z here. Do you know what today is? Monday, Monday, Monday. That's right. Today is cover reveal day for my book that's coming out in the fall, October 6, 2020, Into the Real. And I am so, so excited about it. I hope you guys are excited too. I know it has been what feels like a million years since I first started talking about the book, but now all the exciting stuff comes in because today I am not only going to share the cover with you, but I'm also going to share the description with you, the uh, synopsis that's on the back of the book or inside the flap of the book or somewhere. It's on the book. So <laughs> I'm super, super excited. I hope you're excited too. Are you guys ready? Because we're just going to dive right in and get to this so we can start talking about it. All right. And... I'm just kidding, that's not the cover. Actually, this is the cover of Into the Real. How great is that cover? I'm so stoked. It is so different than anything I've ever had before. It's dark and it's gritty and it's rich and it's just, I love it. I do. I love the cover and I hope you guys will love it too. Um, if you are here and you are watching this cover reveal and hearing the description of the book, I want you to know you are the very first to do so. No one else on the internet gets to know until tomorrow. So you're the very first ones. Yay! And now you can brag to everyone like down the line. I was the first one. You could totally be a minion hipster. It'll be amazing. So now what is Into the Real about? Well, Into the Real is about a character named Quinn. Actually, three characters named Quinn. And the uh, it's a very twisty, turny, really mind-bending. And I want to read the official description to you because I have that here. Ready? Three Quinns, three realities, three brooms. The first broom is a waking nightmare overrun by literal monsters and cutthroat survivors. For Quinn, who is openly genderqueer, the only silver lining is their friendship with Leah and the hope that there might still be a safe place somewhere else in the world. The second broom is a prison with no bars, forced to sort out their sexuality with other teens at Camp Redemption. Quinn must also figure out why presenting as female has never felt quite right. The third broom is a war zone. For Quinn, who presents as male, leading the resistance against an authoritarian government is hard, since even the resistance might not accept them if they knew Quinn's truth. As Quinn starts to realize that they might be one person alternating among these three worlds and identities, they wonder which world is the real one, or do they all contain some deeper truth? I hope you guys are excited. I hope that that like totally like wet your whistle and get you going and like, oh, I can't wait till you read it. I really, really am excited. This book has taken a long, very, very long time to come to fruition, uh, about three years. And it's it's been life changing, I think. It's opened up my eyes to so much, to things I never thought I could do as a writer. And it is, it's next level. I mean, maybe it's not next level for other people, but I'm not comparing myself to other people. It's next level for me. And without my wonderful, wonderful editor at Harper, I would not be able to do what I am doing. You know, it's, it's pushed me and in the best ways possible. So I'm super, super excited for you to meet Quinn, all of them. <laughs> and super excited for you to go to Broom, even though Broom is not a nice place. Not, none of the brooms are nice. I, I honestly, I don't know if I could pick which broom I would not want to be in. I could probably pick which broom I'd want to be in, but I'm not going to tell you that yet. Read the book. So right now, if you guys want, uh, please feel free to share the link. Please feel free to go around and, and tell people to come watch the video. Please hold off from sharing the cover like on, on blogs and stuff like that until tomorrow. 
because I really want you guys just to have this one day just to know that it's just you. So kind of hold off on that. And then tomorrow, feel free to post it everywhere. I'm totally, totally excited about that. Totally, totally cool with that. I will drop a link below if you care to pre-order, actually a couple of links, if you care to pre-order the book. And I really, really hope you do because I have this gorgeous cover. I have this awesome description and I am super, super stoked, guys. This one is something special. Anyway, that's it for me today. You guys go out and celebrate and brag to people. I know what it looks like. I know what it's about. And, you know, do your thing because Pidlinzy loves you.